What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new mod showcase. Wow, three days in a row of some new mods. Been a pretty good start to October right now, right? Okay, but as you guys can see, we got a big John Deere to go over and some other ones to go over today. In total, 30 mods, which of course includes some updates, but there's a lot of good mods in here. Remember guys, before we even get started, make sure you guys hit that like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the club. Don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. Now, I want every single one of you guys to put in the comment section below, what is your favorite mod for the day? And don't forget to include after that, put the hashtag new mods. Okay, roll that intro. Let's get to these new mods. We're going all the way to the top. We will hear the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're backstage. We're playing Okay, walking back and let's get into those first mods that we have for actually today. These are actually some surprise mods. I did not think that mods were going to actually come out three days in a row, but here we are. The first one is, of course, a map. We're going to go over the maps first. We have the Zerise 2K24 from WolfX Modding, and he's been working on this for like three years to get this thing out, and it is finally out. But it says, welcome to Zerise. The map is based on the real town of Zerise, which is located in Slovenia. I'm not going to try to pronounce the town or that country. Uh, this map features hills to simulate the reality of the Slovenian landscape. On this map, you have a special store and a lot of different points of sale. There's a lot of forest area for forestry work, a main street that runs through the city. There are also many other small roads that lead to the more difficult to access meadows and fields. On the map, you will find small, medium, and things like about 60 new building models, 83 fields, Added new trees and foliage textures, new ground paint textures, nine playable farms and three separate stables, two sawmills, a biogas, a vineyard area and production, manure system support, many of different production factories, animal dealer, liming station and quarry, possibility to fill water from the pond and riv rivers, uh, one gas station and own new buildings. So there is a lot of stuff that is included with this map. We have one more map to go over. And that second map is Millstone. This is from Muddy Digs. It's 263 megabytes. Welcome to Millstone, a fictional U.S. town with prosperous future in farming, livestock, forestry, and production. With mostly medium to large fields, animals, and forestry, there's always something to keep you busy. So, some of the map details on this. There's four pre-built farms, two arable, one farm with sheep and pigs. To the north, a cow pasture with up to 160 cows, 69 farmlands, 41 fields, mainly easy, manageable, or some mergeable, uh, four meadows, 24 productions, including two farm supply factories, two flour mills, a grain dryer, diesel, concrete pavers, stone mill, wooden toys, empty pallets, water distribution, BGA, and sawmill. Uh, let's see, 19 cell points, including two towns by train, a chemco facility to buy your solid and liquid fertilizers, herbicide, just digestate, and lime, three greenhouses, two standard, one spruce tree saplings for planting or selling. Greenhouses require water and seed. Five lime, dry fertilizer, manure, and slurry bulk buy points. Three liquid fertilizer and herbicide bulk buy stations. Two train systems with three silo locations. The train transfer silo at the Southwest can store and transfer between both trains and vehicles. That's pretty cool. Three buildable lot areas, one with object storage. 21 custom collectible theme hand tools two stone and sand quarries sell direct or for use in the production chain of lime diesel and concrete pavers uh contracts with two grass bailing missions and precision farming so this is a big big map and i'm gonna have to take a look at this there is a lot of stuff to do on this one okay and here we go with some regular mods for today the first one is actually a pretty big one this is the john deere 9r series 2015 from our good friend dense modding this is 21.49 megabytes this is the most versatile tractor he says with its ballast flexibility the 9r is highly versatile for applications throughout the year its hydro cushion suspension mitigates power hop and road load for more uptime and protection components against harsh terrain with no track components to repair or replace it has the lowest cost of ownership so these are from 2015 all the way to 2021 uh three hundred forty six thousand dollars uh let's go over um we got the regular version we got let's go over the us one uh but anyways engine setup you got the 9370r which is 407 so it can go all the way up to the 9620r which is 670 horsepower dang that is massive 
Uh, let's see, Will Brand. Of course, I'm just gonna go through these really quick. I'm not gonna go through everything on here because it'd probably take me a while because he puts a lot of options on this thing. Uh, front, sorry, front mounting. We have standard, zero, 300, 800, 1300, 1800. You got a rock box. You got rock box with rocks. You got blade undermount. Let's see, beacons. You got no, left, right, or both. Starfire, no, holder, 3000. 3000 GS 2630, 6000 GS 2630, the 4640, the RTK, uh, you got, yeah, 7000s, lots of different kinds of star fires on here. Uh, lights, you have halogen lights, you have LED lights. Uh, let's see, mirrors, you have standard, standard, electric, ultimate, 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 and then back to standard. Side panels, you have standard or new. Let's see, exhaust, tow rope, you have short, you have tow rope, long, tow rope. Oh, it's right down there. Uh, let's see, carpet decal, which I don't, let's see if you guys can see that real quick. You got 100 years, you got carpet. Well, hopefully you guys didn't just hear that train that just like went right by my house. How rude, right? <laughs> got no, okay, we got the 100, we got the carpet, we got both. With the 100, I believe, uh, let's go to the 100. Yes, puts the 100 sticker right over there underneath the John Deere. Uh, Gen 4 monitors, you got the 4100, 4200, 4600. You got, uh, there we go. Attaches, you have trailer, your trailer 2, trailer 3, trailer 4, 3.3.2, 3 and then back to there. Warning signs, no. You have US oversize, US oversize, and that is it. Rear tank, you have the 2015 to the 2016, the 17 through the 21. And that is it on that one. Steering knob, yes or no. Uh, seats, you either have standard or you have leather seats. Windows, you either have standard or tinted. Looks really good with tinted. Okay, let's go ahead and just get this real quick. I'm going to change a few things. Let's get that. Let's get that. Let's get the three points. 4,600, 100 years. Let's just get the rain cap. Side panels, new new let's get some leds on this one starfire uh, beacons both front mounting let's get the rock box plus that one all right this is good okay let's actually take a look at it in game wow this is beautiful nice tractor okay let's go ahead and get in it here is the interior really nice interior okay we quiet so you guys can actually hear it Nice sounds. One set of lights, two set of lights, three set of lights, three sets of lights. You got rotating beacons right there. Let me go in here, turn everything on so you guys can see everything light up. Ooh, nice sounds too. Okay, so let's see. We have open cover, which. Oh, so those fold in. Uh, let's see. Nothing on that one. What do we have over here? Oh, you can rotate. Okay, now left stick. What is this? Do? Oh, that's nice. Okay, top speed is 24 miles an hour. Let's see, everything works in here. Really nice looking tractor. Okay, so that right there, guys, is the Giant Deer 9R Series 2015. Definitely gonna have it on my farm. Okay, next tractor we have on the farm is the Valmet 6400. This is from Oscar8599. This is 17.77 megabytes. The price on this one is $80,000. Power is 100 horsepower. Top speed is, let's see, 24 miles an hour. Uh, let's see, engine setup, you got the 6400 all the way up to the 6600, which brings it up to 120. Will Brand, I'm just gonna go through these like the other one. Got narrows on this one. Uh, let's see, Bridestine standards, Trailborg standards and narrows. Radiator cover, you got new style one, two, old style one, old style two. Uh, let's see, beacons, no, front, left back style one, left back style two, left and front. Definitely gotta try out that, left and front. Let's put, actually, let's go to all styles right there. Lights, you have standard. You have yes, which, what did that do? Oh, it puts, put actually a light bar on the top right there. License plate, you got none. You got back only. 
You've got front and back. So we're gonna put it on the front right over there. And then back to none. Warning triangle, no or yes. Uh, front guard, no or yes. Front loader attacher, quickie, power. Uh, main color, you either have red, dark blue, dark green, yellow, white, black, light green, or beige. Uh, bonnet color, you have pretty much the same colors in that one. Same thing with the grill, you have gray or black. Exhaust color, black or chrome. Rim color, you have silver, white, or black. That is about it on this one. So let's take a look at this in game. Okay, really nice tractor too. Can okay, be quiet so you guys can hear it. Really nice sounds. Here is the interior when it's all lit up. Wow, this is a really nice Vultra. Beacons. Love the beacons. Uh, let's see, what does this do? I can open the top right there. And come up with the back window. Open up the door. And open up the other door. Love the sounds for that too. Top speed is 26 miles an hour. This is a manual plus power shift. Can we get to 26? Yep, there we go. Okay, so that right there, guys, is the Valmet 6400 from Oscar 8599. Next on the list, we have the Fiat Universal 650 from Hispano. This is 67.37 megabytes. Uh, general features on this one, two engine configurations, real and unreal, normal, wide, narrow, double rear and front wheels. You have 12 board Michelin and Nokian tires, optional front wheel fenders, window tinting. Uh, so let's actually take a look at, we got the two wheel drive version or we got the four wheel drive version. Let's go over the four wheel drive version. So cabin, you got no open at the back, completely closed or back to no. Uh, let's see, engine setup, you got the 650, which is 90, or you can go all the way up to the plus, which is 250 horsepower. Uh, that is definitely unrealistic right there. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's go to that one. See, that one's 90. Uh, wheel brand, of course, I was just talking about that. You got narrows, broad doubles, uh, front wheel fenders, no rubber, metallics. Window tinting, 0%, 25, 50, 75, 100. So if you don't want to see out at all, there you go. <laughs> uh, front work lights, yes or no. Beacon lights, left, right, left and right or no. Front weights and coupler, uh, coupler, I can't even speak. Got weights, quickie, hower, uh, main color, any color you want. So if you wanted to have it, uh, say purple, there you go. Nice, that is very purple. Design color, you have any color. And then ceiling color, you can change that. And then seat color, pretty much have all these. And then rim color, any color on that one. And I highly suggest never getting this. Yeah, let's, let's redo that one. Okay, let's do this. All right, let's take a look at it in game. Where are we at? Oh, there it is. It's right over here. Okay, one set of lights, two set of lights, so two sets of lights, turn signals. There is no beacons I have on this one. We quiet. Nice engine sounds. You can even see actually the fans and everything moving right there. Here is the interior. Uh, anything over here, open cover, which opens. Oh, opens the back right there. Uh, let's see. Can adjust the mirror on that side. Can you adjust the mirror on this side? Um. Oh, there we go. Oh, you can, look at that. You can even tilt it and stuff. Can you do that on this side? Oh, yeah, there you go. Tilting. That is something new. Uh, and that is it right there. Top speed is 19 miles an hour. Can we hit it before we hit the wall? Yes, we can. Actually, top speed is 20 miles an hour. Okay, so that right there is the Fiat Universal 650 from, of course, Hispano modding. Okay, now we have something really big too. A Crone Big X series from Chrissy136, 40.92 megabytes. This is the Big Crone X680, 780, 880, and 1180. 
uh, the Big X 680, 780, 880, and 1180. These are the extra powerful forage harvesters from Crone with an output of 687 horsepower all the way up to 1,156 horsepower. The, uh, they impress not only with their high impact power and chopping quality, but also with comfort and handling. Uh, so it includes the X-Collect not sorry X-Collect 903, the Easy Flow 300S, the Easy Flow 380S, uh, the X-Disc 620, the X-Disc 620 trailer, and that is about it. Options you can change the colors. Looks like colors on all these. Yep. Uh, let's see. This one you have the Big X 680 all the way up to the 1180, which brings it up to 1156 horsepower. Uh, you got wheel brands right there, which is just pretty much standard or wide tires. Fenders, you got standard or extra wide. Uh, sticker, standard, black sticker, white sticker, silver, opt. Ooh. Oh, wow. Love the Optimax. Uh, Optimax. Uh, reflective, you got rear. Uh, sides, side and rear. I think I found my new forge harvester. Additional beacon lights, yes or no. Pipe, standard, uh, the, I'm now gonna try to pronounce that. Probably just a longer pipe, long pipe. Uh, let's see, main color, you have all those colors right there, which I wanna keep it like this. Design color, any color, rim color, any color. And there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this. And then let's say, let's just get this real quick. So let's take a look at this in game. Love the color like that, the Optimax. Okay, so one set of lights, two set of lights, three set of lights, four set of lights, rotating beacons on the top. Okay, that was the engine sounds. Here is the interior. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and hook this thing up real quick. Fold that header. Okay, so let's go ahead and unfold the harvester. Pipe out. Okay, let's see. Um, what does this do? Up and down. Oh, okay. That can be raised. Going up. <laughs> oh, it even has the interior lights on and everything on here. Uh, why does that say 24 volts whenever I was doing that? I don't know. Okay, so let's see if there's anything else. It does not look like it. Yep, just found my new favorite forage harvester in Farming Simulator 22. Top speed, 26 miles an hour. Don't hit it. Don't scratch the paint. Okay, so that right there, guys, is the Crone Big X series. Now we have one tool to go over for today, and that is the Lizard AUS Athena 1. This is from Persmec 23433, 11.88 megabytes. This is a package with cultivators. The package includes three versions with different working width. We have the 250, 270, and the 300, ranging all the way from 5,500 all the way up to 6,500. The smallest one is 2.5 meters, all the way up to three meters. You have the tubular roller, the string roller. You have a hydro pack, which you have wide or narrow. Uh, safeguard, you have lower link ball, coders, and then that's it on that one. In main color, you pretty much have your blue or you have green or red on that. And that is that pack right there. Okay, now we have some buildings to get to for today. Today, I'm actually going to do it like this. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys like it like this version, where I just show it just like this, or actually show it in game. This is a little bit more easier for me, and I can actually get this video out a little bit quicker than I usually do. But first one we have is the Metal Buildings Pack. This is from ICUS. It is 56.07 megabytes. This includes a garage, which is 75,000 with sliding doors and lighting. A big storage, which is $90,000, includes a rolling door and lighting. A workshop, which is $95,000, includes a roller door, office, and workshop functions. And then you also have a shed, which is $55,000, and it has basic manual lighting. All of the buildings has 34 color options to choose from, lighting inside and automatic outside. So that is the first building pack for today. And this one's pretty cool. We have decorative collectibles. This is 1.18 megabytes, and I'm going to... 
go. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the author's name because I will butcher it bad. But this package includes wooden toys known from Elm Creek to freely place on your save game as decoration. Price of each animal is $25. Price of each machine is $50. And this is definitely going to confuse people when they have this on their maps. Okay, next building pack, we have the old grain storage pack. This is from Leo Leo. This is 58.59 megabytes. This includes an old grain storage, which is 90,000 with the maintenance is $20 a day. And the old modernized grain storage, which is 85,000 and maintenance is $13 a day. Okay, and now we have the GDR bunker silo. This is from Hell River 3R. Uh, this is 5.84 megabytes. This mod includes a total of two bunker silos. You have the bunker silo without gutter, which is 10,000 dollars maintenance is five dollars a day the end of the bunker silo with gutter which is ten thousand dollars maintenance is five dollars a day and it looks like hell river's also got another one out this is the fertilizer storage 4.92 megabytes this is a fertilizer storage for fertilizer liquid fertilizer and herbicide price is 7500 daily cost is five dollars a day and capacity is up to twenty thousand liters and now we have two houses to go over. We have the brick Polish house. This is from Cuxon. This is 18.37 megabytes. This is of course a house. Price is $20,000. Daily maintenance is $10 a day on that one. And then he also has another house. This is the Polish yellow house. This is 19.21 megabytes. This is $25,000 and the daily maintenance is $15 a day. So that is all the placeables for today. Let's get into the mod updates for today. And the first update we have is actually from Mapper's Paradise in Chibalki. This is about the MF farms, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are playing on. All this did right here was fix the collision on the toy shed. This update does not require a new save, so you don't have to worry about starting over or anything like that. And then we also got an update to the Polder Land Shop. This is from Thomas. It's 271.04 megabytes. The only difference with this one is it is now on consoles. So this has 163 fields, three points of sale, a large livestock farm, large arable farm with BGA, based on real infrastructure, custom soil map, loam, precision farming. This map is based on Dutch areas. Next, we have an update to the Legacy Premium Cutter Pack from Hispano. All this did on it lets he fixed working width of cutter 30 foot, 9.2. So that fixed that right there. Okay, these next ones we're going to go over pretty quick. We have the New Holland Pack Header 5.1 meter from Design Farmer. The update on this one, let's see, added seven beacon configurations and added farm convoy plate. Next, an update to the John Deere 8000 from Smeddy. Let's see, fixed max speed, faster transmission, right pipe con connection, fixed window and door cylinder, better turning radius and wheel parameters. Then an update to the Barante Furtos 12,500. Uh, corrected skidding and during high speed turns, adjustments to the wheel friction values and fixed an issue where they would sink into the ground. Fuel tank capacity corrected to the proper values. Price adjustment in the store to match other machines in the same category and adjusted the position of the hitch support. And then another Barante, I'm gonna butcher that name over and over again. This is the Hexline 1050. What changed on this one? Fix the coupling position it is now centered. After that, an update to the raw 2.5 Lizard 3.0. What changed on this one? A three meter Lizard version has been added on this one. Also, the Albut, Magzi, Paladin, Stoll, Easy Forks have been updated. Tools adapted after patch 1.14. Bales and pallets are removed from the trigger again. The new Albut, Bale, and Wrap Clamp has also been added. Then we have the pack of Greenhouses update. Let's see, two new versions of the Greenhouse have been added on this one. Then we have an update to the old silo bin. Change log on this one. Prices has been changed to lower and filling speed has been changed. See a lot of updates for today. After that one, the Southern German Farm Buildings Pack from Omatana has been updated. The bale storage position for the stored bales changed so that they no longer look out of the building. Corner barn, the walls of the upper floor now have collisions. The hotspot at the farmhouse number four is no longer inside the stairs. Stairs lowered at the farmhouse number seven. Entrance door made colorable at the farmhouse. And silage can now also be produced from straw at the fermenter silo. And there are recipes that also produce digestate. Also, we also have an update to the Hessen farm. Just a small one on here. Let's see the change log. New support for husbandry cleaning mod by Joss and also small fixes. After that, an update to the corner shed. What did this fix on this one? No collision on the upper floor. And now the last one, the garage with chicken coop. Let's see on this one added version with fence and improve some visuals. 
Okay, and there you have it right there. There was all the new mods for today. Not actually bad. I'm definitely going to be using that John Deere and, of course, Icus's buildings. Uh, remember, at the beginning of the video, guys, I asked what was your guys' favorite mod, so don't forget to put that down in the description. Now, what is today's schedule? Today's schedule, we do have a live stream. It is at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Also, if you guys have not checked out FS News, make sure you guys do. I posted that earlier today. Like always, if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you guys hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the club. Don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. See you guys tonight. Peace. She's got a hold on me. She knows how to drive a truck, but she lets me pick her up when we're going dancing.